Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem using the method of variation of parameters. As a first step, we have to write auxiliary equation which is m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0. Then this can be written as m minus 2 whole square equal to 0. From this, we get two values for m. Both are 2. And the complementary function is c1 plus c2x into e power mx which is 2x. Now, let's multiply this inside. So, c1 e power 2x plus c2 into x e power 2x. This we have to compare with the general form of the complementary function which is c1 f1 plus c2 f2. So we get f1 and f2. f1 is e power 2x and f2 is x into e power 2x. Now using this we can write the particular integral p f1 plus q f2 and formula for finding p is minus integral f2 into x dx by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2 and q is integral f1 x dx whole divided by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. In both these terms we have the same denominator so it is better to find this separately so that we can use it later. f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2 equal to f1 is e power 2x. So e power 2x into x into e power 2x is f2 and we have to find its derivative minus e power 2x dash into x into e power 2x. Now first term e power 2x as it is this we have to do product rule x into derivative of e power 2x is e power 2x into 2 plus second term we have to write as it is and derivative of the x is 1. Then e power 2x derivative is e power 2x into 2 and the last term x into e power 2x as it is. Now let's multiply e power 2x inside. So it is going to be 2x into e power 4x. We will add the power. Then the second term is again e power 2x into e power 2x. So we add the power e power 4x. Then here it is minus 2x into e power 4x. So we can cancel the first term and the last term because they are same term with opposite sign. So finally we left with only e power 4x. Now we have to calculate the p which is nothing but minus integral f2 into x dx whole divided by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. So we have to substitute the values minus integral f2 from here it is x e power 2x. So x e power 2x into x is nothing but the function given in the right hand side e power 2x. So this is e power 2x whole divided by this denominator term f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash into f2 is e power 4x. So we are going to substitute here. Anyway, numerator is e power 4x and this e power 4x can cancel. We left with only x. Its integration is x square by 2 and there is a minus sign outside. We got p. Now q is integral f1 into x dx by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. So f1 
is nothing but from here it is e power 2x so e power 2x and x is e power 2x and we have dx denominator is e power 4x everything gets cancelled we left with only dx that is nothing but x by adding these two power we get 4x so e power 4x and e power 4x gets cancelled finally q is x after finding p and q we can write the particular integral which is p f1 plus q f2 so p is minus x square by 2 so minus x square by 2 into f1 is nothing but e power 2x so we got the first term in the same way q is x and f2 is x into e power 2x so finally particular integral is minus x square by 2 into e power 2x plus x square into e power 2x we can take lcm lcm is 2 and e power 2x can be taken common so this is minus x square plus 2x square so totally we get x square so it is x square by 2 into e power 2x now finally the complete solution is cf plus pi so y equal to cf already we have written it here which is c1 e power 2x plus c2 x into e power 2x so c1 e power 2x plus c2 into x into e power 2x then pi is x square by 2 into e power 2x 